Good evening. I see it's seven o'clock. I'll call the meeting to order. Uh, welcome to the West Rock Hill Township Board of Supervisors meeting for December 16th, 2020. Please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Um, are there any public comments on the agenda items? There are no emails for public comment for agenda items. Okay, thank you. Announcements. Uh, we will have an executive session tonight after this meeting for real estate and for legal issues. And we did also have a, an executive session on November 18th for real estate and uh, legal issues. Also in announcements, I want to I want to mention uh, one other thing. Uh, let me bring this up real quick. Um, uh, Charlie Gunst, who was a longtime resident of our township, passed away on Sunday. Charlie was a lifelong resident. He served in the United States Army. He was drafted by the St. Louis Cardinals and played in their minor league teams uh, after I think it was after he got out of the service. He's a longtime member of the Park and Rec Committee. He served as an elected official in West Rock Hill as, as a member of the Board of Auditors. And he's also a longtime member of West Rock Hill Historical Society. We will all miss Charlie very much. Charlie was a, a, an integral part of this, uh, this community. So I would, I would just like to give uh, just a one minute pause for uh, to, to just silence for Charlie. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, thank you very much. <clears throat> Moving on, uh, our consent agenda for tonight is the November 18th minutes, the wind plan re review status, escrow release and vouchers, the emergency services report, building zoning and, and building permit report, public works report, uh, advertised sale of uh, debris blower, <clears throat> joint rec authority, the planning commission report, Park and Rec Report, Conservation Committee Report, the Treasurer's Report, and the Bills List. As you can see, there weren't too many meetings this month. Uh, Greg, could you uh, go through the uh, Treasurer's Report, please? Sure. This is the Treasurer's Report ending November 30th, 2020. The general fund, $594,243.92. Highway aid, $97,954.63. Open space, $1,210,661.87. The park fund, $24,967.51. The equipment fund, $18,466.38. Highway capital, $129.42. Street light, $35,000. $337.71. The reserve funds, the general fund reserve, $371,556.60. The open space Manderfield, $51,178.04. Sewage maintenance fund, $180,699.08. Stormwater fund, $6,558.74. And the escrow funds, $510,903.41. Thank you. Are there any questions uh, from any of the supervisors on the uh, consent agenda? No questions. No questions for me. Hearing none, could I get a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved, David Collingwood. And a second? I will second it, Jay Kaiser. Thank you, Jay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And it passes. There are no confirmed appointments. There are no committee reports. So we will right, move right to the uh, commission, uh, police commission reports. Uh, Chief Blake. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Penridge Regional Police Department responded to 421 calls in November of 2020. 168 calls were in East Rock Hill and 253 were in West Rock Hill. And we handled 28 traffic crashes. Uh, we responded to 27 crimes. The crimes are in West Rock Hill as follows. 
possession of marijuana, two theft cases, fraud case, public drunkenness, DUI, two criminal mischief cases, a trespass case, a harassment case, three ordinance violations, and three dog law violations. In East Rock Hill, the crimes are as follows, a theft, an auto theft, uh, sex offense against the minor, possession with intent to deliver marijuana, a dog law violation, three disorderly conduct cases, two ordinance violations, and a criminal mischief. Uh, charges filed in November are as follows, one charge of criminal mischief, one charge of retail theft, one charge of possession of marijuana, one charge of possession of drug paraphernalia, and two charged with DUI. Officers conducted 196 traffic enforcement details. 123 of those traffic details were on Old Bethlehem Pike, issuing four verbal traffic warnings, nine citations, and seven written warnings. And officers also conducted uh, 409 business checks. I just uh, want to mention that last night was the Penridge Regional Police Commission meeting, and at that meeting we uh, honored the Detective Daryl Lewis. Uh, he's uh, retiring January 22nd of 2021. Uh, he has uh, a little over 32 years of service in the Penridge Regional Police Department, starting with West Rock Hill in, 19, in April of 1988. And uh, at that meeting last night, he received a uh, uh, a plaque from the Penridge Regional Police Commission, a proclamation from the House of Representatives, and a uh, citation from Governor Tom Wolf. And also the uh, PBA presented him with a uh, plaque with his uh, original badge from West Rock Hill and uh, his patch from the uh, Penridge Regional Police uh, Department. So uh, we were able to honor him uh, in the Zoom meeting and, uh, and present him for retirement. So... I just want to let the board in West Rock Hill know that. And that's the uh, police report. Okay, thank you, Chief. Are there any questions for the Chief? I have none. I have none. Okay. Uh, Greg, do you have any questions? Come in? No. None? Okay. Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve the police commission report. I'll make that motion. Jay thank Kaiser. You. All right. Do I get a second? Hey. Second, David Collier. All right, thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 And it passes. Uh, tax collector report, Suzanne Clark. Okay, for annual taxes for the month of December, I've collected $507.06, $52.68 in interim tax bills. So we're, we're just shy of what you actually budgeted to collect for this year. As of today, I still have two more weeks to collect. We're shy from what you budgeted by $1,300. So we're getting pretty close to your budgeted amount. Um, I just want to let everybody know that I no longer can accept personal checks after the December 15th. So if you know anybody who needs to satisfy any taxes, I can only accept bank certified checks or money orders. Um, and that's all I have. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have a question for the our, our tax collector, Suzanne Clark? I have none. I have, I have none. Okay. Hearing none, could I get a motion to approve the tax collector's report? So moved, David Collinwood. <clears throat> I'll second it. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, aye. And it passes. Uh, engineer's report, Steve Bala. Hey, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, so the first item listed on the agenda is the Rock Hill Contractor Services. Uh, if you recall, that project um, was completed some time ago and, and were permitted to go to make their maintenance period. Uh, one item of note there is they've only built two of the four buildings, but all of the internal improvements are done and the building pads are, are stone lots at this point. So there's no other site work that needs to be completed when they do construct those, those buildings. And that's why you permitted them to go to the, into the maintenance period. Um, okay. So they've successfully completed the maintenance period. I'm recommending that we uh, accept it as complete and authorize release of the remaining funds subject to um, them submitting separate permit plans for their two buildings when, when and if they do construct those additional buildings. Okay. Mm. Are there any questions? No questions. No, I, I would actually make a motion to accept this uh, and, and release their, their um, maintenance. All right, I thank you, Jay. I would say second. second. Okay, all yep. in favor? Aye. 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 
passes. All right, Steve, next. Hey, thank you. So the next item is the Dominus Corporation. That's the um, the Twin Air business uh, right there on Anna Lane, the new building oh. that went up in the old rotor subdivision right on the corner of Anna Lane and Bethlehem Pike. Mm -hmm. uh, they have completed their improvement. And this project, we're um, asking for approval to start the maintenance, the 18 month maintenance period and to reduce their escrow to the 15% um, that's required to be held through the maintenance period. Okay. Are there any questions, David, Jay? I have none. I, I have none. Okay. I would make a motion for that. Okay, thank you, David. Uh, second, Jay? Yes, I will second it. Okay, thank you. All in favor, aye. Aye. All right, aye. Uh, passes. Okay, thank you. And well, not on the agenda, I, had, I could just report on a few other <clears throat> minor things. Okay. One, one you had um, you had touched on the, pl the plan status report back in the consent agenda. Uh, you may have noticed that one item, the Butter Creek Builders Lot 7 had a uh, time constraint. Uh, we have since received a six month extension from Tim Snyder. And just okay. for clarification, that's on his original plan for that subdivision. We're still working with Tim Snyder on his alternate sketch plans, but in any event, he provided the, the necessary extension. So that's no longer an issue. Okay. And then on the couple contracts that we recently awarded, um, as regard to the solar contract, we have received all the documents from the contractor. Uh, as a matter of fact, just today I put together the final packet. So I'll be getting um, Greg to sign those contracts. We also had a, a, a meeting with the contractor. Um, I can't remember now. Was that if that was Monday? If that was last week? That was uh, Monday. Yeah. To go, it seems like a long time ago. Just, just <laughs> uh, one of those weeks. So we did go over, uh, you know, all, all this paperwork and what we expect uh, to get the project started. Um, and he was to the building uh, again and reviewed the electric panels so he could get his final designs done. So that's, it's, you know, well underway at this point. <laughs> the second contract was the catch basin demolition. And if anybody has been up catch basin road, you'll see the buildings are gone. Uh, there's still some minor uh, work being done. Uh, we did find some unfortunate sludge in the back tank uh, that we're working to, to address the best we can. Uh, but he's uh, probably 90% done and we're going to discuss maybe delaying the final uh, grading off of the of the site uh, to allow it to settle over the winter and maybe come back in the spring and do the final touch up of the site. But we're, we're still talking about that. But the work is is probably 90 percent done at this point. Great. Thank you. And that's all I want to report on unless there's any questions. OK. Are there any questions? I had nope. none. OK. Hearing none, uh, can I get a motion to approve the engineer's report? I'll make that motion, Jay. Thank I'll you. A second? I will, I will second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, and it passes. The solicitor's report, Mary Everly. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. There's a couple items under the solicitor's report tonight. <clears throat> the first one is the um, Percocy Regional Authority proposed ordinance that they that they came and talked to you about last month. I reviewed it against the service agreement that was signed, I guess the amended one in 2011, and against the mandatory connection ordinance that you did when we were contemplating doing the, cellar, the Bethlehem Pike extension. And I have some comments on it, and I shared those comments with you, I believe, out there in your solicitor's report. And I also shared them with the solicitor for PRA, and he asked for a meeting, and we have one scheduled for Monday. So if it's all right with the Board of Supervisors, I'd like to try and work through the comments that I have with them at the meeting, and I think Greg and Steve will participate in that, and then um, we'll come back to you at the next meeting with um, the best offer that we could get from them, and then you can decide what you want to do. Okay. That sounds good. Is that all right with... I was going to ask yeah. David and Jay, are you okay with that? Absolutely. I'm wonderful with it. Thank you, Mary. 
Okay. Mary, that would be the regularly scheduled January meeting. That would not be the reorg meeting on the 4th, correct? That's correct. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, then we will just table that for now, Mary. Thank you. Thank you. The second item under the report is a resolution authorizing a rate adjustment of our 2000 and I think it's 2014 borrowing with Quakertown National Bank. You started out at an interest rate of, I think, 3.36 percent. And in 2019, that was reduced to 3.35 percent. And now Greg has um, negotiated another um, loan uh, interest rate reduction, which maybe he wants to tell you about. It is kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has been reduced now to 1.8 percent. So in order for um, someone to sign, whether it's Jim or Greg or whoever, to sign the loan modification agreement to let that rate go into effect, you have to adopt a resolution um, whereby the board members authorize someone to sign. And in this case, they're authorizing either the chairperson, the vice chairperson, or um, or Greg to sign the to sign the loan modification agreement at what I'm sure will be a very little settlement with Quakertown National Bank. I, I would suggest we just have Greg do it, if it's okay with David and Jay, because Greg can work directly with them and not have to wait for one of us to be able to show up and sign things. I'm fine with that. Okay. Yep, four, three. You don't okay. have to make that. Well, you made that decision formally now, but that's not. The resolution gives you the ability to have any, if Greg gets hit by a bus, somebody else can sign. Oh, okay. But, okay. <laughs> <laughs> always right. on the bright side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. So, um, so we're looking for a motion to approve Resolution 2020-18. Okay. Could I get a motion to approve Resolution 2020-18 to authorize the loan reduction, the loan rate reduction? I'll, I'll, I'll make that motion. Jay, go ahead. Thank you. Second? David will second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Aye. It passes. Okay. And then the final item, which is actually a, a compound item on the solicitor's report this evening, is approval of the um, new Verizon franchise agreement, which was negotiated by Dan Cohen's office. He is an, an he is the premier attorney in Pennsylvania on the municipal side for telecommunications matters. Um, he negotiated this with the consortium through the consortium of uh, Bucks County Communities. Um, right. It's not a great agreement, but it's legitimately the best that could be done under the circumstances. And the circumstances are that um, Verizon was not wholly cooperative. They don't seem as invested in their um, cable television um, branch as they were previously. But the um, executing a new franchise agreement is a two-step process. One. Mr. Chairman, you would want to open a hearing on the topic of whether or not there are any concerns with the service in the township. A long time ago, 25 years ago, when we would open these hearings, people would be lined up at the microphone to talk about the problems that they were having with their cable television service. And now it's pretty much a non-event, but it is a requirement of the Federal Cable Act. So if you'd like to open that hearing and ask for any comments people might have on the quality of their cable television service, that would be the appropriate way to go. Can I do that now, Mary? Yes, please. All right. I would like to make a motion to open a hearing to discuss the motion. Verizon agreement and cable service. Do I have a second? Yeah, I yeah, I'm second it, but I don't think you need to. I think you just need to open a hearing. Oh, but, oh okay. But, I, but, I'll, but, I'll, but, I'll, but I'll do that for you if you need. Okay. Thanks. All right. Sure. Um, and then you would just ask people if they have any complaints about oh. or comments about their cable television service through Verizon. Oh, okay. Then we will uh, we'll open this to the whole public. That's everybody that's here tonight. Do you have any problems with your cable service you'd like to vent right now? <laughs> oh, please don't go out. 
I'm not hearing any. Greg, do you have any written comments? No. No. Okay. So you can close that hearing if you'd like. Okay. At this point, I will close the hearing and we will move on to the next step. And then the next step is to open a public hearing on an ordinance which authorizes you to execute the cable franchise agreement that was negotiated by, um, by Dan Cohen's office. There are no real highlights of the agreement. The, um, the percentage that you can collect in cable television was capped a long time ago at 5%, and you've been getting that for more than 20 years. Um, your last agreement, I think, was 12 years long. This one's only five. Um, and there's a provision there. I think I remember this correctly. Greg, I don't know how much you participated in the negotiations that allows this to be renegotiated if um, if Verizon decides that it wants to get out of this business altogether. Um, the customer service standards are pretty much the same. There's no, no new areas that need to be served. So um, we recommend that you enter into this franchise agreement, but you need to open a hearing of a public hearing on the ordinance and take public comment on that. Okay. Well, I will mo open a hearing now to take public comment. Uh, you're all free to speak one at a time. Nobody rushed to the microphone. <laughs> okay, hearing nothing, I will uh, close the hearing. And then if you so desire, you can adopt ordinance number 243, an ordinance of the Township of West Rock Hill, authorizing the execution of a cable franchise agreement between the Township and Verizon Pennsylvania LLC. Okay. I will make a motion to... Uh, Approve ordinance number 243. I second David Collingwood. Are there any questions, David or Jay? None. None. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And it passes. Mr. Chairman, that's all I have to report on tonight, unless you have questions. I have no questions. David or Jay, do you have any questions for Mary? I have none. I have none. Thank you, Mary. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Can I get a motion to approve the solicitor's report? So moved, David Collingwood. And a second? I'll second it. Jay Thank you, Jay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Okay. Thank you. The township manager's report. Greg? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the first item is adoption of the proposed 2021 budget. It has advertised and on display, a uh, copy available at the Township Counter and on the website. Um, if you want to go to the next slide. Similar to, to last month where I reported, West Rock Hill Township has the lowest millage of any full-time police force. And if you want to go to the next slide, there'll be $411,000 allocated on road repair. Township is an end anticipating carrying over less money to start in 2021. The holiday house pool is budgeted at 13,000. Any additional projects must be taken out of the reserve account in 2021. This will be reevaluated as the year progresses, depending on how much revenues we do get in, but it has been advertised. Okay. All right, I will put this up for motion and then we'll take questions. Is there a motion to approve the budget? I'll make that motion, Jay Thank you. Can I get a second? I will make a second, David Collingwood. Okay, then uh, having heard a motion and a second, I'll put it out for comments. Mr. Chairman, David Collingwood, I have a few comments I'd like to make concerning the budget. Uh, proceed. And yes, I will vote to approve it first. I wanna thank uh, Manager Lippincott for a job well done in developing a budget that does not necessitate the raising of taxes while meeting the needs of the township. Thank you, Greg. Second, while I appreciate Mr. Kaiser's public support, service, excuse me, I'm disappointed that the taxpayer still needs to support paying health insurance for Mr. Kaiser and his family, a situation that only he can change if he so chooses. While he is within his rights, according to state law, 
I'm disappointed that he continues to take this benefit at the expense of the taxpaying public. Both Mr. Miller and myself are saving thousands of taxpayer dollars by electing not to take this coverage, rather paying for it ourselves. What is even more disappointing is the fact that Mr. Kaiser is employed full-time as a professional truck driver and elects not to take advantage of his company's health insurance offerings. At the current rate, it will cost the taxpayers of West Rock Hill over $100,000 to cover Mr. Kaiser and his family's health care premiums for the remainder of his tenure in office. This is unacceptable and needs to change. Thank you. All right. Any other comments from the public or anyone? Hearing none. I don't think I heard one. Okay. I will. Uh, oh, Tim. You, Tim Kern. Yep. That was an accident. I apologize. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you had a comment. Okay. Um, hearing, hearing no other comments, uh, we had this out for a motion. Uh, all in favor, aye. 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 And it, it passes. The budget's passed for 2021 with no tax increase. Thank you. The next item is the 2007 GMC truck went out to bid. The winning bid amount was $16,810 to Terrence Brown. Um, if the board approves the selling of the 2007 GMC truck for the amount of $16,810. I'll put that out for a motion to approve the sale of the 2007 GMC truck for $16,810. So I'll move. Motion. Okay, I heard uh, I heard Jay and David, you seconding it? That's fine. Yes, I second that. I okay, think it's great. thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion carries. And uh, is there anything else from the manager's report? No, that is all I have. Okay, then I make a motion to approve the manager's report. Do I have a second? Second, David Collingwood. All in favor? Aye. 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 And it passes. All right. Old business. Greg? Uh, the 2020 accomplishments, I thought you were going to speak on that. You had it. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't see the slide was up. Okay. Yes. Good to tell everyone all everything we've accomplished this week, this year. It's been a really tough year with COVID and with us not being able to get in the building and everybody being sequestered at home. But the township was able to, uh, to get a lot of work done this year. Um, to start with, we've divided this into several different categories that would make it easier to take in. The first one's transparency. Uh, we did audio video recording and publishing of all Board of Supervisors and Planning Commission meetings. Uh, they are all available now on the, uh, on the website, uh, uh, like the day after these meetings occur. So they're out there for perpetuity. Um, so anyone can see them. They'll know exactly what was said in every meeting. We've, in, the, we've included all the expenses that are paid. But that's the bills list in the consent agenda, and that is available for public view on the website. That was asked for last year, and, and we made that effective in January. The administrative building improvements. Uh, we've added surveillance cameras to cover the entire perimeter of the building and the lobby for security. We've insulated the township building. We did an engineering audit, I'm sorry, an energy audit, and added uh, energy efficient glass in the municipal uh, building foyer. And that has cut down on our, our, um, our, our uh, energy use. We relocated the tax collector's office to the front of the lobby and, and made the front door handicapped accessible. So people coming in to visit the tax collector or visit the, the township uh, could, could have easier access. I will add on there also that in the 2021 budget, we do have budgeted for a, um, a push button door entry system that, that will be put in sometime in 2021. That is budgeted for. That will complete all of the handicapped uh, uh, efforts we wanted to do to the lobby. We replaced all the exterior locks with new electronic keypads. We know who's coming in after hours now. 
everyone's got their own uh, their own uh, uh, access code. Uh, we created a work from home environment for emergency conditions. You're on it right now. It's all cloud-based services, video, um, telephone services, so that our, our employees can work from home um, and, and not really um, have any effect on getting the business done, M making sure it does get done. We did the energy audit, as we mentioned, uh, and recommended the improvements to the township building, which were done actually on election day when the, uh, when the building was closed. We're expecting an annual savings of $1,500 for that per year. We adopted resolution 2029, which allows electronic submission of your building plans. We've improved the online submission process and, uh, and now you can do all of your, all of your processing online and you can also pay with credit cards online. The, we did a module upgrade to the, uh, the, the videos, um, the audio sound system in the meeting room. And whenever we get back, you'll all be able to hear that. <laughs> Um, we installed a wireless microphone at the podium, which I think we got in right before the uh, right before we stopped going in the, in for the meetings at there. And um, the catch basin road demo of the old work waterworks, as you heard from Steve, is in progress and just about complete. Uh, a long term cost course, course long term cost avoidance. Uh, we did a resolution to terminate, as we mentioned earlier, uh, the township sponsored health insurance for supervisors and their families. We approved the, the installation of, of the ground mounted solar system, which is expected to be completed at the end of February. We renegotiated the Penridge Regional Police Department building loan, cutting the interest rate by over 1%. We renegotiated the open space loan, cutting the interest rate by over 1%. And we leased out the James Barn to the West Rock Hill Township Historical Society, and they are raising funds to both uh, renovate the farmhouse and the barn uh, at, at their expense with their funds they're raising. Uh, Long-term community benefits, we did con uh, con conditional uh, preliminary and final approval of the Grandview Hospital land development plan, which is in progress. Uh, the addition of an alternate member to the Planning Commission, that's Tony Bogner. We've adopted Resolution 20, 2005, the Citizens Commission for Legislation and Congressional Redistricting. We add additional support for the Holiday House pool this year because of COVID. Uh, that, by the way, was used and uh, we are going to be ready to open in 2021. In the James Park improvement, we had we added the EV cha charging station to the park, which gets a lot of use. And uh, Greg, in a couple of months, I would like to ha see a report on, uh, you know, how much use it's getting. I, I know I've seen cars over there quite a bit. We've replaced the James Barn roof. We adopted uh, the, uh, the the plaque was added to the Veterans Memorial uh, a month ago, thanks to. Uh, our, our veterans and to our park and rec committee. Uh, we supported the French drain improvements to the ball field uh, that uh, the Little League requested. And I believe that's also going to help us with the drainage that goes down over the back toward the dog, dog park. And we added the John Mann bench and the tree for John Mann, which is very nicely decorated right now for Christmas. So those were our accomplishments for 2021. Um, of 2020, uh, we we will have a few things in 2021, but we really have to take it easy with with the uh, expenses because of COVID. We want to try and stick with the budget and not work on unbudgeted items this year, unless it's something we definitely need. So, are there any questions or comments on the accomplishments? Mm -hmm. Well, hearing none, um, that's the only old business I had. Um, does anyone else have any old business? I have none other than those things that you mentioned there. Oh, thank you, Jay. I have none. Thank okay. you uh, for that report. Thank you. And uh, Greg, do you have any other comments? No other comments. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's move on to new business. Um, 
In new business, I just I did want to mention that the reorg meeting is January 4th and it will be a Zoom or a, a Google Meet just like this one, seven o'clock on, on January 4th. It's usually a fairly quick meeting. And that's the only new business I had. Is there any other new business anyone has? I have none. I have Thank none. You, Thank you, David. Uh, in that case, we'll move on to public comment. Do we have any pump of comment, Greg? No public comment. Okay, thank you. Uh, can I get a motion to adjourn the meeting? So moved, David Collingwood. Oh, thank you. Uh, do I have a second? I'll second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Did we lose Jay? He's still on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, two is enough. The meeting's adjourned. Uh, Greg, uh, how do you want to move into executive?